Hey there, it's Sydney with Tastefully Frugal, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to take a straight design for sublimation tumblers and turn it into a taper design two different ways. So you're going to need two separate files for this project. You're going to need a straight sublimation tumbler design as well as a tapered template. I've linked both of these designs in the description of the video so that you can easily download them. But let's go ahead and bring these designs into Photoshop. This is the home screen for Photoshop. Just click this open button and select your tapered template. You want to upload this first so it's your first layer on the canvas. Make sure that you have the correct size, the 9.3 by 8.2 and click OK. And then once you have your tapered template on the canvas, we are going to just drag and drop our straight design um, on top of the tapered template. So just open your file explorer, find your design that you want, just click it and drag it over on top of the tapered design. Once you've done this, you'll want to go ahead and go up to the top middle and select that checkbox just to accept that you have the two designs, the two layers on there. And I like to double check, go to image and image size, just to double check the size again to make sure um, for whatever reason it didn't change with upload. So we'll just have the 9.3 by 8.2 and we're good to go. So the first way to create a taper design is super easy. You're just going to right click on the leopard or your straight design template and click create clipping mask. Now what this does is it basically cuts the uh, taper design out of your pattern design. So in one click, you can create a tapered design, which is awesome. The only problem is you're missing the ends of your design. So if you want to have a seamless tumbler, you're not going to get that with this method. Let me show you how to do a seamless tumbler. So just click, click Control Z to undo that. And we're gonna change the opacity of our leopard down to 70% so that we can see the tapered template behind our leopard design. Then just go ahead and go up to File and then click Transform. And under Transform, you're going to want to click Warp. So what this is going to allow us to do is basically move the straight design around and have it fit over our uh, tapered design. So just start in the corners, just click the corners and drag them over so that they line up with the corners of the tapered design. So you want to do all four corners first. It doesn't really matter which order you do, um, but once you have the corners lined up, then you can take um, the points along the edges and line them up as well. Just like we did with the corners, we'll just make our way around the design. I'm um, just clicking all of those points and moving them in um, as close to that tapered template as you can. Um, now, if you don't have a super intricate design, you can be done at this point. But if you want to make sure that you're getting all the edges um, and you're not missing any pieces, go ahead and click the Alt button and then scroll with your mouse and that will have you zoom in. And then you're just going to work your way around the design again. If you see any of the brighter green colors popping up, that will show you that you need to move your straight design to fit the tempered design or the tapered design better. So just click the design and drag it um, down so that, or if you need to drag it up or over or whatever direction you are, so that it is lined up on that tapered design. But then once you have gone around your whole design, you're going to want to zoom out. So you'll just click Alt and scroll backwards. And this is going to get your design back. So it's full screen instead of zoomed in. And we are going to change the opacity for the leopard design. So for your straight tumbler design, change that back from 70% to 100%. If you don't change it, then you'll have um, more. It will look faded when you print it. So don't skip the step of changing the opacity. Make sure that's 100%. But once your opacity is at 100%, we're basically done. To export the design, we don't want to export our tapered template. So just go ahead and hover over the eye design under the layer one and click that so that we make that layer disappear and we can export our design. I like to export my sublimation tumblers as ping files. Um, so just go to file, export as ping, make sure that the size is correct. You can also print um, for sublimation directly from Photoshop. So if you want to uh, print your design here so that you can make your tumblers, you can do that as well. But if you have 
any questions on anything that we covered today that I didn't answer in the video, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. As I mentioned, I have linked both of these files in the comments so that you can make these designs. I've also linked some other sublimation videos and a blog post showing you how to make sublimation tumblers in the convection oven. But if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I'd love to have you subscribe to Tastefully Frugal for more sublimation and Cricut tips, tricks, and tutorials. Have a great day.